Welcome back, and we are starting the transmission setup thing. So this is the first 50 we've ever done, so we're gonna, just gonna dive in and see what happens. This is an 8 HP 50 from a 2018 BMW 430i. Um, it's gonna go behind the 135i with our Adamant adapter. So this is, what, this is, car, this is from a car with a V8, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Um, or at least BP8 South Bell Housing. I don't know if the 430 has a turbo on it, does it? I don't know anything anymore. I, I'm just, it's all too new for me. Anyway, I guess we'll get going. First things first, I'm gonna flip it over and expose the pan. Whoa. Yeah, so Don't like, hurt my transmission. So apparently right. this pan is huge and plastic and disposable because the filter is like built into it. So we're gonna change this anyway. So I'm gonna remove it with the sledgehammer. I'm Whoa. Just I'm just kidding. All right, well he does that boring stuff. We'll go look at the rest of the things that I'm gonna do while we're in here. Yeah, you're boring. So I've never had issues with my oil pan on the track or you know oil pressures or anything dropping, but I figured while we're in there and taking everything off, I might as well do a bunch of gaskets because it leaks because it's a BMW like everyone. Um, so I welded in a baffle. So we're gonna swap that pan. Um, and then here you guys saw in the last video, but these are the adapters. This is to run the B58 8HP50 on the N54. I have front main seal, rear main seal, valve cover, oil pan, a bunch of goodies, just cause like I said, it's been a while and might as well while we're in there. The water to oil cooler for the transmission, obviously the HTG and wiring harness. I have this little separate wiring harness that will have gear display uh, indicator that I'm gonna put on the steering wheel. We have transmission cross member. 50-50 if this one's gonna work mathematically, it should be very close, but we'll be interested to see about that. So yeah, I mean, realistically, like other than me doing a few things, this is really just an adapter plate some cooling, HCG, and wiring. So it's good. this is gonna be super popular on the N54s after we finish this. Everyone loves roll racing, dig racing these cars. Having the trans brake, just the easy calibration of the 8HP, like it just makes sense. The community's gonna love this. So I'm super excited to test it out. And you know, with the HCG, we can hold all that power. So not worried about the single turbo life, so. So right now we're removing the valve body. We're trying to get to the mechatronics so that we can remove the mechatronics. The mechatronics. <laughs> um, Do I know which bolts hold which? I'm not really sure. But we're finding out. All right. Take two. Ammo change. Ammo. All right. Dude, is that a long barrel Torx? Is okay. that legal in the state? Dude. Gotta have a permit for this baby. Has her. I have no idea. Oh, she's free now. Freedom! So basically I took all the ones, all the screws out that were T40s. And now it seems to be loose. Uh, definitely still attached in the back somewhere. So I'm gonna unplug these. Unplug these. Let me get this thing out of the way maybe first. I don't know what that is, but it's a thing. What is that thing? You tell me. Filter? No. No. Okay. Pump of some sort? You know, it might be, a, there's a little filter right here, so maybe like it sucks up things or monitors things. I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's snap back when Mike gets this off.
Oh, there we go. That was one of them. All right. Oh, so. was it stuck on the park lock? No. It's, or it what was, is that spring? It was these. It was bolted to these. Oh, okay. So these two ones were to remove it. So this is the valve body. We're gonna leave the stock. This is essentially what where all the oil flows, and this is the solenoids that control the gears. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. I wouldn't want to separate this just because you'll probably have to like retwork it or whatever. But we're just gonna put it to the side and worry about that later. We'll go about, we'll go through later and make a guide. Um, this is like the my car video, just we're getting in there exploring, and then we have another 8 HP that we're gonna do that we're gonna make a more technical video on. This is just yeah. kind of a shit show video to show what's going on. This is exploration. We're so this, this right in here is where the chip is that we're gonna solder in. We're gonna cut this open and insert a chip, um, which is available on our online store. Now what this does is it allows us to use the HTG to control it. Now, I feel like I'm pretty unbolted here. I'm not sure what's holding it in. Maybe it's the connector. Let's push this through. Oh, I do have to go this way because that came out. That's nice. So this is a this is a thing. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does either. It's a thing though. It looks like a thing. Okay. Now the connector's right here, so we're gonna. Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna unbolt these bolts, and this should be able to go slide in, and then we can take remove it. And we definitely have to disconnect this thing too. ZF would be so proud. This is definitely scientific as it gets. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I think I need to get like a little mallet and just like... Just little love taps? Yeah, like a little rubber guy, but it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Go for it. The left side of the toolbox, yeah. unless you have some over here. Oh, I'm sweating transmission fluid. <laughs> Yay. So I found a hammer. Is it moving? Stop moving. Okay, so no hammer is needed. We'll oh, oh, is this a lock for the connector? I think this is a lock for the connector. This goes in and out. So I just pulled it out. Nope, not yet. Literally just a connector. Nothing fancy. I can feel the piece going around. Look at Sean doing dirt bike things. Mm, okay, at the current moment, I'll give it to you. Just Went in a little bit. Hammering a transmission. I can see it moving. Freedom! So I think this is a lock feature right here. Because since I have it half out, it's not locking now. Do you need me to like hold something or? All right, we're gonna actually cut to us figuring this out. We figured it out. So once you unlock that tab in there, this piece actually comes out this way, and then you can remove this this way. So this locks into here with the tab locking it in there. So it wasn't so, the hammer. So, so the ha you pull it. You pull, no, you don't want to hammer. You pull the connector thing out, and then this comes out. Wow, Mike's such a liar. God. So now what we have to do is I give this to Sean because he's he's better than all of us. And then what you do is he, he grinds this, we'll get a little video, but he'll cut this cap open, remove the wires, and put one of the boards we sell in there, which converts this to HTG configuration. But look at this in here, this looks pretty cool. Looks it's kind of disappointing how much you gotta take apart. Looks brand new. Yeah, it looks pretty here's, naked and afraid. Here's the park lock. Yeah, we're gonna definitely do some fiddling with the park lock today, because there is no solution for that, so. We're gonna figure something out. We're gonna get it to work. How does that actuate? Factory electronic? No, it doesn't. 
Well, once there's hydraulic pressure, it opens, but if you have the engine off, it's always in park. Well, that's shitty. And like the park lock that we currently have doesn't work because this pull tab is down towards the ground. Here's a sensor for it. So there was a, there was a sensor here, so it has a magnet on it to tell if it's in park or not. So what, your car physically has to be running for it to come out of park? Factory no, because factory. we are really? engineers and we're gonna make it work. Yeah, but even but factory, that's the Yes, factory that is. So literally you get under the car and there's a screw on the side of the transmission that you thread into the lever so, uh, to put it, it to unlock it when for, the engine's off. Okay. Uh, if you were in an emergency situation. That's so shitty. Yeah. So unless you carry like a Torx and a gun on you, it's pretty shitty. Which I don't think they'll like that at the track. The Chargers had that. You pull off that little cup holder. Yeah. And it right had here. the literally a pull cord. You see the clutch pack right here. All right. Let's see how. Nope. That's dark hole. A little light on this camera. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. That was interesting. So let's find on the mechatronics which ones actually need to get removed. It's definitely not all of them. Look at Mike's even rocking the DCT shirt today. Oh yeah. It's just we're just all transmissioned out today. Mike, hurry up! The people have it. had to wait 23 seconds. Got it. So this is the RU Tech, RU Tech board so factory all the wires go into this little chip right that's in the center but what we're going to do now is reroute all the sensors you know, using this board this pcb board so it routes all the wires straight to the factory plug and from the factory plug you can use our harness to plug into the hcg without any sort of internal like rewiring or anything you're just going to plug that in and it's super easy to solder in it's literally uh just like it fits right in you drop in and just wipe the solar iron and you're done then pot it with some with the included potting compound and you're ready to go yeah, the 8HP is going to be very DIY friendly. Yeah, definitely. You're just literally going to have to buy HCG and the external harness and the rest, like, you'll you'll be able to do. Yeah, the DCT stuff's really hard to do compared to this stuff. Yeah, the mech is way different for the DCT, so. Oh, here's the parking paw, that's how this works. So this, when this turns a little bit, it lifts this paw yeah. off the back. So this is going to pull this, I think. Maybe, oh, I think. It goes one way or the other, and it lifts, this is the parking paw, I think. I lift it off. It's going to be my engineering project for the rest of the week is figure out how the park lock can work on this. Yeah. I think I have a pretty good idea already, but trying to make it as DIY friendly as possible. Definitely. Because like the, our DCT park lock works surely well. Yeah, the DCT park lock is just super simple, but this one, like at first we were thinking like we're going to have to like tack weld it onto the casing of the transmission the and we're trying to, to avoid the that. Car with the engine off. Yeah. When you need to in an emergency situation. Yeah, even if you broke down on the side of the road, like when you're getting towed into a tow truck, like the last thing you want is just dragging the rear wheels because they're locked because the trans is in park. Yeah. All right, guys, that's just a quick little video showing the 8HP and kind of the part overview of what you need to throw one of these in your car. Um, Sean and Mike, well, Sean's working on the dirt bike still. Oh, parts. Oh, we already went over parts, but we can do parts again if that's cool. What do, you need? what do you need? What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Holy cow, hold on, salesman, salesman. You need an HGGCU. Wow, that was beautiful. You need a seam stick garage harness. Oh my god, you should be a hand model. You need an oil cooler. Oh, beautiful. You need plugs that come with that stuff. Oh, you need an adapter. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my, oh my god. Beautiful. Wear it like bling. I should have worn it. You should just wear it the rest of the video. Yeah, no, they'll do it. I don't want to fuck this gasket. And what else do you need? I don't know. Uh, you need, you need, uh, you need, you need to not have an engine that leaks oil. So add a sort of gasket <laughs> while you're in there. Yeah, I think that's it, really. Uh, so no. this, this is the manual one? What, a DCT No, one? that is the, that it's is. DCT. Yes. So this is a DCT crossover. We think this is going to be so close that we can probably use it. So Mathematically, it should work because the manual and the 8HP are the same length. And this sits and this is like, an inch farther back. I mean, this is basically an inch. It's basically an inch. So we're, so we're gonna give it a go. We're, worst case, we're gonna like oval out a hole a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna keep you posted. You're gonna see that in the next video. Also in the next video, engine's coming out. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Chris is gonna drop the whole thing at the bottom. Then we're gonna yeah, power wash it. I'm a car. lazy person, so car goes in, undo some subframe bolts, shock towers, and brake lines, and then you just lift the car off and the engine stays on a pallet on the ground. Yeah. There's like one or two more bolts than that, but you get the gist, so. All right, stay tuned guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.
Thank you.